Hey guys, I'm going to do a little quick tip uh, video because uh, something that a few people asked me the odd time and I didn't know how to do it myself for a while and I figured I'd share a little trip trick <clears throat> that uh, with Android Studio, one of the old versions when you had um, a vector drawable, you could uh, convert it to a PNG through Android Studio, actually it was pretty quick and easy to do. You could essentially click on the image in this case right here where I'm circling with the mouse and you could just almost like right click and copy and save it as which is kinda simple. But anyway, um, here's an easy way to do it. So you can just take any uh, vector drawable which all of these are. So I'm gonna just go to, I don't know, the home button here and uh, what I usually do is I'm going to click on the color and I'm just going to make it black. I usually like to make them black first. Um, it's just easier to work with and I'll show you why in a second. So just zero, zero, zero to make it black. And then I'm going to minimize this. And then uh, let me just go into this here. And uh, it was the home button. Um, the site here, Shapeshifter, which I'm sure some of you guys know, um, can do a bunch of cool stuff. I don't use it for much, but I have from time to time used it for this. <clears throat> so you just drag your XML into it, start from scratch, and there it is there. Um, and you just export it as an SVG. And then we'll just drag it onto our desktop here and then you can open it up in uh, either like Illustrator or you can use um, Inkscape or Vector whatever you want but anyway we're going to use Illustrator so we're just going to go into it and we'll open it as the SVG and then we'll just enlarge it a bit and it's sitting there now if it was if I had left it as white I would have white on white which is kind of a a pain of course you can find it if you want but anyway um, right now this is a really small one so if you want to enlarge it that's the thing about the scalable just save as web and then you know right now it's 96 by 96 and let's just I don't know make it 500 and then hit save at the bottom and that should do it. So it should now, oh wait, maybe I didn't hit it. Save it on my desktop. Okay, so now it's on my desktop here. And I'll open it in Photoshop. And as you can see, it's still perfect and it's enlarged to the size you want. So if you guys want, you can do that. And then you can convert it back if you need to, which is really not that hard. There's a lot of different ways to do it but uh, that's what you do if you want to get a, uh, a vector into PNG mode to be able to edit it for whatever reason.